Hey guys, Shane here. And no, no NTC Junior character, no Thomas Zero. It's just me doing an unscripted apology video. And this apology goes out to a very certain Brony reviewer. You probably might know him as the editor. Oh boy, that I done goofed up real, real badly. So for those of you who guys don't know, I'm going to basically explain my little history with the editor and basically describe about this argument. So, let's begin. It all started back in 2016 when I pretty much just doing YouTube. This was before the NTC Junior character was created. But then I saw a notification I saw on my notification bars or my recommendation it said cut and print, read it and weep. I have no idea. I haven't heard of My Little Pony at the time, so I just watched the review and I'm like, huh, oh, that's a pretty good review. Must have a really good episode. So after that, something in my brain just snapped. So I turn off the review, search search up the episode, read it and weep and watch it. And I'm like, dang, that's actually a pretty good episode. And then I just went ahead and rewatched every single episode. So the My Little Pony until up until a little bit of season six ish. And that's when I became a brony. So yeah, because of the editor's review of Read It and Weep, that's my Bernie side was awakened. So, I wanted to subscribe, but eh, I didn't subscribe that much. Much. I just look in the videos. I just don't comment that much. So, yeah. And then, a few years later, which is in 2020, I, I got a Twitter! Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the ancestor to my brother's channel. <laughs> okay. I'm getting ahead of myself here. But still. Still. I was making this fan art of the editor, Crimson Glow, and myself, which is the director. Now, don't get any ideas in the comments that I stole his thing. I did not steal his thing! Ugh. Anyway, he told me, told me to, next time, credit, credit others' art next time. I didn't get what he meant that time. I was like, good to know. I, th I just found it on a random picture. Picture. So, I didn't get what he means at the time. So. So, I decided to make another goofy little art, which was, was me with the warp stone. It was just a goofy art, nothing too seriously. But then all of a sudden, I got a bunch of angry comments. And oh boy, did it not feel well. Oh, I'm like, oh no, no, I was just doing this for fun. Stop taking this the wrong way. <laughs> so I got a little mad, but mostly a little disappointed. But mostly disappointed. Disappointed that I should have thought this through. And so once again, I took his advice and be became original. So I made a couple of little C fan arts in, and I reposted one from Twitter, the one that has him, and then it all blew up with the most hurtful words I've ever heard in my entire life. That broke my heart. Yeah, because as a guy who, who was imaginative, who was like an imaginative guy all throughout his life, Hearing the first time hearing that out, the, his words broke my heart. Here, he really bro broke it. But I wasn't mad. But I wasn't mad at him. I was disappointed in myself. Disappointed. And I'm like, what have I done? What have I done? I felt ashamed. I wanted to make this right, but then I read the rest of his comment that said. Said that said it, it says I will literally block you, block you if you do this again. So when I saw this, I'm like, 
he scared me. And he made me got a new fear of me being not good enough, him never forgiving me. So yeah, I couldn't forgive myself at the time. I didn't think I was good enough. I was filled with this guilt and anxiety. Kind of like Golden Fox was. I was in this Do Princess Dream of Magic Sheep. By the way, Do Princess Dream of Magic Sheep, best episode of the entire show for me. But anyway, I hurt both him and myself. I didn't want things to be too personal. So I went I went ahead to my Discord cord and asked some people what they think. Well, actually it was a different Discord called Emily A W and Blossom Flower. Which is still best YouTube ever, by the way. Wait, I typed him up, and he, and some got some person said, "You don't, you do not, you shouldn't let him say say those things. You shouldn't let him bring you down." No, and he's like, "What a big jerk he was." Well, tech. Well, technically, he wa he wasn't a jerk. Well, okay, kind of. Kind of what, but still, it was mostly me. It was mostly me, so why call him a jerk when I'm the one who literally started it all? That's a little confusing. Seeing so, I just went ahead and went with it. And they advised me to just make an apology video, like Golden, like Golden Fox, like Mr. Anthropony did with Golden Fox. I had that suggestion in the back of my head. But then, when editor and crimson closes for your anniversary, I wanted to comment something nice. But while well, Jessica Pedley, a friend of mine, liked it, not so much for editor. He, I think he deleted the comment, and at then, I wasn't mad anymore. I wasn't just mad, mad at him or me. I wasn't mad. I was just done. Yeah, I was just done. I was done with him being angry at me, and I was literally done with just being guilty with myself. So I, so I literally took their advice, went ahead, took the, took the laptop, and just pressed record, and just made this freaking apology just to say I'm sorry. I really am sorry, Ed. I'm sorry for hurting you so bad. And to all his fans, I am indeed sorry. I didn't mean th for things to go too far. And if I gotta kill my DeviantArt account just to not do this, then I probably might. This is just, it was just sad. It was a sad time for me. But you all probably might be wondering, do shit, do shit. You're just doing this because to get a commission from the guy or become a war block or maybe even be his friend. No. And, oh, <coughs> listen here. I'm not doing this just to get my commission from him. I'm not doing this just to become a war block. I'm not even doing it just to be his friend. I'm doing it to fix my mistakes. Because in my family, we have a motto. Always fix your mistakes. Even if the person hates you for it, like editor. We always got to fix the mistakes. And if you say that that's not a mistake you cannot fix, I say bullshit. You can always fix these mistakes, and which I am going to do. And you're also probably wondering, editor might be wondering, Shane, I'm not sure. You don't even deserve that second chance. You don't, after what you did, you don't deserve that second chance at all. Well, that's why I'm going to have to say, say you're wrong on that one. Because here's the thing. To, to quote from a move, to quote from a lesson from a, from a movie, from my favorite childhood show, Veggie Tales, everyone deserves a second chance. No matter how much they anger you, no, it's like this. Knowing what I was doing wrong, I said I was sorry. I put down my my fighting stuff and my guilt and I, and asked some ask God for a second chance. And by God, He's given me one. So yeah, God usually gives me a second chance. Even this even this guy can. Even you can. 
and pretty much everyone out. So, this is me really being serious on saying, I'm really sorry for hurting you. I didn't mean for things to go this far, and when it did, I should have just asked you first, instead, instead of just trying to still steal your art. So I just wanted to, I still want to make rights to this situation. So that's all I gotta say, editor. I'm really sorry for the way I made you feel. And can you, if you would just give me another chance, think about it. I mean, if only you were Christian, everybody needs a second chance, even the ones you hurt. Like even the ones who anger you, they still need second chances. So, that's all I gotta say. So, thank you guys for watching and for more. I'm the NTC Junior. I mean, my name is Shane, and... Look, Ed. I never wanted to hurt you, and I wish our disagreements could come to a very very mature conclusion. So, like I said before, forevermore, my name is Shane, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. Don't worry, Ed. I'm gonna make that change.